Hello, welcome to the instructional video for the Medical Device Information System, ISZP. My name is Emma and I will be your guide through the process of gaining access to the ISZP, setting permissions for individual users and logged in to the ISZP for the first time. The application for access to the ISZP can be found at prestupi.sukl.cz. On this page, you will find the ISCZP item. Click on it. Select the method of verification either through the Citizen Identity and IA, which is a national identification system for the Czech citizens only or by electronic signature. If you choose to log in through NIA, all your data as an applicant will be pre-filled. In case you are not a Czech citizen, choose the electronic signature verification then press the Next button. Select the country of your company's registered office and enter your company's ID number. For foreign entities, the corresponding company identifier, which is listed in the commercial register of the given country, is to be selected. If you want to grant a power of attorney for representation by another company in ISZP, or if you are going to represent another company, Select I request to open account for the company in ISZP, which you will be representing. The information about the principal will be entered in the next step. Click the Next button. If you have chosen to request the establishment of another entity, you will provide information about the entity you will represent to the same extent as on the previous page. In the country of the entity, you will represent registered office and the entity's ID number. For foreign entities, choose the corresponding company identifier, which is listed in the commercial register of the given country, and press Next button. If you did not request the establishment of another entity on the previous page, this page will not be displayed. Information on Czech entities will be retrieved from the commercial register. Information about foreign entities will need to be filled in manually. The information must be identical to the information in the commercial register. If you have an economic operator's registration and identification number, EORI, assigned, include it. Likewise, if you have been assigned a single registration number, SRN, for an activity, with the plus button, you can enter more SRNs. Please provide contact details of the applicant. If you have requested the establishment of another entity, you will also provide information about the entity you will represent in the entity code list. As with the information above, information on Czech entities will be retrieved from the commercial register. Information about foreign entities will need to be filled in manually. The information must be identical to the information in the commercial register. If the company represented has an economic operator's registration and identification number, EORI, assigned, please state it. The same applies if you have been assigned a single registration number, SRN, for an activity. You can use the plus button to specify more SRNs. If you have not requested the establishment of another entity, this part will not be displayed. If you are not the managing director of the company, the system will ask you to submit the authorization. A template for the authorization can be found on the State Institute for Drug Control website in the Medical Devices ISCP section. If you are logged in via NIA, just send the request with the Send button. If you have chosen an electronic signature authorization first where the e-signature should be retrieved from, then select Certificate and fill in the password for it. In exceptional cases, you can also send an unsigned application. In the next step, you must download and sign a copy of the application outside the system. The original must be sent to the State Institute for Drug Control. If you are sending a signed application outside the system, do not forget to make a note of the application number and use it as an identifier when sending the application to the SUKL. You will receive notification of the receipt of your application to the system via email or data box. If you have signed the application with an electronic signature or via NIA, 
and it contains all the requisites, such as the authorization of the employee, if the application is not submitted by the managing director, your application will be processed within a few days. If you send anything outside the system, whether a signed application or an employee's authorization, etc., the processing of that may take longer. If your application is approved, the access data will be sent to your email. In case of rejection, you will be informed by email, including the reasons for the rejection. Once an application has been rejected, nothing can be added to it. It will be necessary to submit the application again with all the requisites. As soon as you receive access data to the external identities portal, you need to generate an identification certificate and define individual user permissions. This will be shown on the following slides. Now let's go back to the external identities portal at pristupi.sukul.cz and select the access management button. Then the identity management button. In the login box, enter the credentials that were sent to you. And press the log in button. Select a permanent password for the external identities portal and click to send button. The password must be at least 12 characters long and it must contain at least one uppercase letter, lowercase letter, number, and special character. It cannot contain check diacritics, number sequences, etc. Be sure to make a note of your external identities portal login that differs from the login of the access application and is not used for logging into the ISCZP. Now let's log in to the external identities portal using the new username and permanent password. After logging in, in the Certificates tab, click on the Generate button, which will trigger the process of generating an identification certificate that is identical for all employees in the company who will be entering the ISCZP system. Choose a password for the certificate and click on the Send button. Generating the certificate will take about 30 seconds. After the certificate is generated, you can download it via the floppy disk icon. If you need to revoke the certificate for some reason, you can do it here using the Invalidate button. After downloading the certificate, it is necessary to install the certificate on all devices of all employees who will be using ISZP system. Manuals for installing the certificate into individual browsers and operating systems can also be found in the external identities portal at pristupi.sukul.cz in the video guide section at the bottom of the page. Now let's move on to defining permissions in ISZP. Click on the branches button. Select a workplace type of the subject ISZP. In some cases, there may be several branch type displayed there, so it is necessary to choose the right subject ISCZP branch type. In the branch detail, go to the People in the Workplace tab. Use the Add New Person button to gradually amend all subjects who will enter the ISCP, including the managing director or the person who was setting up access, if they want to use the ISCZP. You provide personal information about the person who will be accessing the ISCZP system. Set the access competency for individual modules. In this manner, you will set the authorization of all persons who will enter the ISCZP, including the managing director or the person who requested access, if they want to work in the ISCZP. There is a Send Accesses button for foreign persons. If you confirm that it is a foreigner, this person will be sent access via SNS to the specified mobile phone and email address. Czech citizens will be identified via the population register. For Czech citizens, the Send Accesses button is inactive. Czech citizens can only log in to the ISCP system through the NIA citizen identity. If you want to remove an employee's access to the ISCP system, use the trash icon. 
foreign person must set a permanent password in the external identities portal at pristupi.sukul.cz. Select the Access Management button, and then the Identity Management button. In the Login box, enter the credentials that were sent to you and click on Sign In button. Set a permanent password for ISCZP. This does not apply to SEC citizens. They log in to the ISCZP via the NIA citizen identity. Czech citizens do not use name and password legends. If you have defined permissions for your colleagues or yourself, you may not be able to log in to ISCZP system immediately. Synchronization of authorized persons between the external identities portal and ISCP system takes place once an hour. ISCP system can be found at iscp.sukul.cz. In the left panel, there is mandatory disclosure of information about persons handling medical devices, such as distributors, servicing persons, or CMD manufacturers. Information about registered ethics committees and information on medical devices reimbursed by public health insurance. To log in, click on the Login button. The system will ask you to select an identification certificate. The certificate to the ISZP system is always called ISZPSUKL and a combination of numbers and letters. This certificate is the same for all persons from one company who want to enter the ISCZP system. And then redirect you to the login page. Foreign citizens enter the ISCZP with their login name and password. Czech citizens can enter the ISCZP only through the NIA citizen identity.